Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to make this diamond home decor piece. This DIY will require soldering, so if you want to see a video on how to use one, click on the video here or see the description box below. So here's the stuff that you'll need. Three coat hangers, wire cutters, soldering equipment and spray paint. So I first took the coat hangers and cut cut cut. So I had 6 lots of 9cm, 5.5cm, 15cm and 6cm pieces. I also cut one 12cm piece that will only be used for support. I plugged in my soldering iron and once it heated up, I used it to strip the coating off the wires. You can use steel wool to do the same, but I found this method to be more effective. I then took the two 9cm wires, dipped them in flux, measured 120 degrees between them and then soldered them together. Again, if you want to see a beginner's guide on how to solder, click on the video or see the description box below. I did the same to the rest of the 9cm wires, so that I ended up with 3 pairs of wires. If you put them together, they should form a nice hexagon. I soldered the ends together to fix them into place. I did the same with the 6cm pieces so that I now have two hexagonal wire pieces. Next, I erected the 12cm wire up in the centre of the 9cm hexagon. I took one of my 15cm wires, put flux on one of the corners of the hexagon and soldered the wire to the base of the hexagon. The 12cm wire helped me to get the angles right. I did the same to the remaining base corners. And here's my awesome pyramid! After removing all the blue tack and the 12cm guide wire, I dipped the apex of the pyramid in flux and soldered it all together. The next part was the most difficult part for me. I took a 5.5cm wire and soldered it perpendicular to the 15cm wire. I did the same with the remaining 5.5cm wires, and you want to solder it so that you can place your 6cm hexagon on top. I placed the 6cm hexagon on the surface and put the pyramid on top so that all the corners matched up, and I finally soldered it all together. And here is my soldered diamond structure. Next, primer and spray paint. And here's the final result. I really like the way that it turned out, and I think it's a classy way to add geometry to your home. If you did enjoy this tutorial, please show your support with a thumbs up. And as always, thanks for watching. Bye!